I'm your host, Reese Snabo, and welcome to part two. Um, and again, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is a special. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you quite a few tricks in this one, as well as I want to watch the other one too because it has tons on it as well. Um, that way, from here on, I'm gonna move forward and get to the back to school. Um, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really honored to share you these very sweet tricks you could do for summer after back to school. A little bit, let's give you a little taste. So as it is, where do we, we, we leave off? I'm going to let Bob show us where we left off with the numbers. Hey, Bob? Yeah? Can you show us the numbers right now? Okay. There is at, at number 16, from numbers 1 to 16, and now here is our next number. Okay, knowing that Bob just said 16, what's our next number up? But first, we want to know the title, that way we can get back onto track. Okay, that was, that was our, six, our 16th, 16th one, that was the uh, coin rubbed through bottle cap. And now, Bringing us down to number 17, which is a back to school outlet prank. Oh uh, no, here we are at number 17. Okay, so now we're all caught up. Let's get to it right now. And I will recap the title. And that is the back to school outlet prank. Here is the performance. Hmm. Oh no! Shoot! Oh no, my phone's gonna die! Oh, quick! Quick! I gotta plug, I gotta plug, I gotta plug this in! I, I want. I, make sure, make sure I save my game first! Oh jeez! I think I turn you a plug-in! ASAP! Oh good! This was what I needed! Okay, why can't my plug-in fit? Okay, I'll try the top one. Oh! My phone's gonna die and I can't put my... Oh, grrr! Jeez! Oh, I give up! I didn't even have a plug-in thing. What is wrong with that thing? <laughs> ah, that's great. <laughs> the 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 plug-in. I... You want how this is done? It's a very sick one. It's a really cool thing you could do for back to school. Um, because you know people are playing their games. You know, their systems are about to die. They're trying to find a nearest plug-in. And they come to a plug-in. They keep trying and trying to plug it in. It's not happening. It's not budging. You want to hide this print is done? To reveal the secret behind it. And it's very easy because all that they'll have with them is their phone, their game system, and their plug-in that they come with. That's all, basically, what we're going to be work, uh, working with. So what are we we're working with? Check the wall. The outlet. You think these are real? Completely? They do look freaking real. Think again. Because I got to. Okay. Look. This is actually cardboard. You can tape it with a little bit of masking, masking tape. And all you'll need for this is a black Sharpie marker. Okay. And then for the top one, which is what you'll see coming out, which is another one, but this one you're going to have is one of those safety things that you put into 
the outlet. As you can see, take a look at the, look at the inside of the outlet. I'll do a close. I'll do a close up. You see all those holes that I just showed you, right there. Look exactly just like them. Here and here. What you're going to do with these is you're going to place these on the outlet, just like this. Making sure that they're all lined up so they're exactly the same. And you're good to go. All you gotta do is wait for someone to to use the the outlet. They'll they'll come and they'll try to plug it in, and they can't plug their darn recharger into the, the outlet. And that is how you do the back to school outlet prank. Now for our 18th one up, which is the magic water worm trick. Here is the performance. Number 18. You can see, watch this. I'm gonna actually magically watch. You can see, a worm has now appeared in my cup. Okay, watch this. Gonna see? Disappears. I can make it I can make it reappear again. Watch this. Watch. There it is right there, can see it's moving! The worm, water worm is moving! You can see, look, and it can, oh, now it just came back, wow, it's, this worm is so magical, it even, it even is like completely invisible, and then it shows itself, and it likes to put on a nice show, oh, look at that, I'll come up close, at the water worm. I'll watch this. You can see the worm is completely gone by magic. How is this trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind it. It's a very easy and simple one that you can do for the summertime. As well because of being scientific, it can also be or back to school. All you'll need is a clear cup. A thumbtack. What you're gonna do is you're gonna poke just a small hole right here like this. So that the water will come out from the hole. What you're gonna do is fill it up with water. You can see as it is leaking out of the hole, this is what you'll see here, that's gonna cause it to trickle. Make Make a line like this. You can see as I squeeze, right? You can see it's coming out of that little small hole here. And the inside, as I move it around, you can see it actually looks like a worm that you see right here. So as you press it down, like that. Hold. It will start to move like that. 
and it looks like a, a worm because it actually moves just like a genuine worm would do outside. You can also do that too. You can see how 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 it moves and twirls and twists. And the inside there. That I gotta do is I let's dump it out and it completely vanishes from the cup. And that's how you do the magic water worm trick. Now for our nineteenth one, which is a fantastic ice cream to floor. Chick prank. Here is the performance. Number 19. Oh man. Nice ice cream here. Okay, let me see here. Oh shoot! My ice cream! Oh! Nasty! Ice cream? Really? You call this ice cream? <laughs> That's a pretty slick one. Okay, as it is, but, but reveal the secret behind it. It's a very slick one. It's a very clever one that you, you could do for the summertime. As well as, you could also do this for back to school. And let's say if you have, like, say, uh, you can stick on, like, cereal stuff on, uh, onto it. I think it's up on the floor. It doesn't go everywhere. It stays in one uh, solitary area. But it's a really cool gag that you can do. Here is how it's done. Okay, all you need for this is a bowl and a spoon. And of course, you need is some, some tissue paper. What you're going to do is you're going to go uh, a bit. You're going to now is pull this up. Might need a little bit more. So that way you can actually put it into a ball shape like this. And it's going to look like ice cream. What you're going to do is you're going to put this into your, your bowl like this. And then just add a little bit of water to it. Okay, add a little bit of water, be very careful. Pour it, making sure it stays into a nice good ball shape. Like that. Just make it nice. Can take out the spoon a little bit. Put it into the shape of an like ice cream. And put your spoon into the bowl. Very naturally, just like this. So from here, you can come to a hard surface floor or on a carpet. And what, you, what you're going to do is, as they have their ice cream, you can actually like give them the, the ice cream. And uh, what I do is they will put it into the spoon. It's too big, so as they go like this to so take a bite, this is going to fall onto the floor like this. It smashes down. Water will come kind of flying out, out a little bit. They're going to be stunned, surprised to see that they, uh, that they were going to have some have have ice cream. And they notice it fell on the, on the floor and them did not come apart. They got splashed with water a little bit. And there you go. That's all that is to it. And that is how you do the Fantastic ice cream to floor trick prank. Now for our 20th one, and that is the straw through cup magic trick. There is the performance. <laughs>